1955, Switzerland banned all forms of motorsport from within the country's borders after a horrific crash at the 24 Hours of Le Mans endurance race killed 86 spectators and injured over 100 others earlier that year. In 2009, the Swiss Parliament voted to keep that ban in place, citing not only continuing safety concerns, but also questions about racing's environmental and social impact. Unfortunately, much of the world associates racing with what they see on the news, crashes and accidents. If you're a part of the racing community, however, racing is that it's a somewhat closed sport relative to others. There's a high level of entry for that and people in racing generally love racing, love cars. It's not someone who's racing just because their parents told them to, unlike soccer or football. Um, you really need to love the sport so when you race you're with people who love racing, who love cars and that's a wonderful feeling. Racing is not a sport for the faint-hearted I feel and it's really something unique that not everyone will enjoy or understand completely. A lot of people look at me and go, why do you race, why do you drive so fast? And you can't really explain it to them. And it just, it all comes down to feeling and it's, it's a great thing for those who enjoy it. But in the end, it's all about the feeling that you get at the end of a race or the end of a really good run that, you know, it's a full body feeling and it's just pure. Racing is all about the feel. Um, that's, that's what I enjoy about the sport, the feeling of adrenaline, the feeling of control over the car, and that is only achieved through the most pure mechanisms possible. Even systems such as traction control, which are obviously safety mechanisms, I frequently turn off my own car just to get the, the natural feel and have myself in control rather than a technical system. It, it distinguishes uh, good drivers from the really best. Racing is a mind sport. While some of it is intuitive and built up over time and you perfect things, it's all about using your brain. And it's, it's constant calculations without being aware. And I think go-karting is pure in the sense that the go-karts don't have ABS, they don't have very complicated systems, and you're on the ground, so it's direct feel into the actual cornering. The speed is not that great, but it does, it does feel good to be right on the ground, and that obviously enhances that sense. Racing is just something that encapsulates all of your senses at once. And legitimately blocks out everything in the outside world and is probably the only thing in my life that can push out everything to the point where it's only racing on my mind. And I think that's something that will maintain the industry and keep racing for forever. I really can't compare anything to the feeling of hitting the throttle on a car, you know, and just feeling your back pressing, you're feeling the torque behind you and just accelerating and then the windy turns, feeling, you know, playing with the throttle, controlling the car, there's, there's nothing like that in the world. I mean, mm -hmm. most of these advances, the car, advances in the car that people drive normally are from racing. Again, F1, I love that. You see the technology in F1 eventually trickle down to these concrete cars, like ABS or stability control. They all start off in F1 at one point, and now they end up in our cars. I don't know. I'm not going to be surprised if racing in the alternative energy will actually drive innovation for the consumer cars. Right, and that's an example of technology that I think is beneficial to the racing industry. Um, it's not taking away from the natural feel of the car. The biggest fear I see with the alternative energy racing is the actual loss of noise. Yes. Because engine noise is actually a critical aspect, and Wait, that's something why? that I don't want to lose. It sounds so <laughs> nice. Yeah. A car motor, when it's red, sounds beautiful, and with an electric motor, there's no noise whatsoever. That's just going to be depressing. I mean, we'll figure out a way to create noise with electric cars. I'm not going to doubt that, but the actual true sound, like when you rev any car right now, as you as the rev line goes up, that noise is beautiful. And that won't be there. <laughs>